We're up to number four on the list, and this is called what I call the science of getting signed, getting people to sign on the dotted line and accept your proposals. And this one was huge. I actually had to combine three or four points into this one module. And so this one may be a little bit longer, but I need you to really understand a few takeaways from this thing. It's gonna be huge. Um, I need you to understand selling versus talking, okay? Do not mistake talking versus selling. You have to listen to what the customer has to say. You have to talk just enough to get the customer to talk. Once the customer starts talking, you are almost assured that your deal is, the, the level of percentage that your deal is going to close will rise incrementally the longer the customer talks. And here's the cool part. If the customer starts talking about things that have nothing to do with the job, but they're friendly, they're warm, they, they're comfortable, you might as well just make, you, your deal is done. You sign the job right then and there. If the customer feels good enough that they, at that point, they're telling you that they trust you, they feel good enough to stop worrying about their project, they feel like they're in good hands, and they can actually start relating other things to you. That's charisma. Now, let me, let me, this, Vanessa Van Edwards explained this very well. Um, she runs a science of people and charisma is comprised of two components something that I can learn you can learn everyone can learn the first component is to be warm okay simple you, you don't want to be cocky you don't want to be arrogant you want to be warm but the next component of the two-part component is to be competent to be competent so that means that now that's different than cocky and arrogant it means you have to they have to be really comfortable that you're confident in the process that you know what you're talking about but you're not over the top you're not a know-it-all because a know-it-all really um, comes off in a bad way so warm and competent is charisma that's what will help you get signed but here's another part of this you will not close 100 percent of the deals that's good that's good that means you're pricing it right, okay? Don't mistake the fact that you don't get every deal as you're doing something wrong. Take it as you're doing something right. Your pricing structure is right for your company. You're being competitive. Maybe you're falling within the guidelines of other people and maybe they they had some kind of an in or something. Maybe they, they, they were a friend of a neighbor or you know something. It doesn't make a difference. But you don't want to win 100% of the work that you bid because if you do, it means you're giving it away. It means you're screwing up. It means you're doing something wrong if you get 100% of your bids. And that's the other part of this sales process. No. N-O. No. What does that mean? It means you're doing things right. Don't take no personally. Take no as, I'm running my business the right way. I must have enough profits built in that will allow me to keep operating. There's a number of reasons why people say no. Just don't take it personally, and a lot of salespeople do. Their pride, their arrogance, their ego is built off from getting that yes. That's a mistake, and it's natural. I do it. I do it all the time. I get a no. I feel crushed until I actually sit back and go, oh, yeah, it's good to have a no every now and then. It means I'm doing things right. So the science of getting signed, module four in the top 10 mistakes contractors make. Mistaking no and what that means, trying to close 100% of your deals, over talking your customers instead of listening, let them do the talking. Once they start talking, you're in like Flynn. Be um, charisma, charismatic, which means being warm and competent. A lot of points in this module, but it's all about sales. Take them away with you, rock them, and you'll You'll close them more. You'll close more deals. You'll feel better at the end of the day.